students. This is the last type of conditional clauses on zero condition. Basically, zero condition, zero conditional clauses are known as zero conditional clauses because there is a reason that every time you make a situation which happens to be a general truth, um, the result of the stipulation you are making in an if clause or the preparation we are making in an if clause always comes with a certain result. The result of that condition never changes. That's why we say it's a zero condition. Because of the fact we do not use model verbs because uh, the, the the situations or the facts or the or the results they never tend to change. So these sentences express general truths, situations which in which one thing always causes another. These situations are made upon facts that never tend to change. In the given example I have written here, if we heat water, it boils. Uh, what is the difference between the previous conditional clauses or uh, the conditional clauses uh, first, second or third? Uh, there is a big difference between those and zero condition. In uh, previous conditional clauses, we always used a model verb in, in its you know, main clause or result clause. Uh, but I have skipped, I have deleted the model verbs here because of the fact uh, if we heat water, every time we heat water it boils. So basically this if is when here. If we replace if with when, it is when we heat water it boils. So when uh, indicates that every time we heat water it boils. Uh, say for example if I write if we heat water it will boil. This will boil um, it uh, it says or it expresses its possibility. However it is a general fact it doesn't require a model verb it doesn't require a possibility or uh, any you know chance of happening because this is obvious that if this will happen this will boil if we heat water it boils so likewise we are making this conditional clause with if clause then happens its main clause in the if clause we make for positive sentences if plus subject plus first form of verb like in the type first uh, in main clause there is a change there is a difference we will not use any kind of model verb here so for example i have written here if you smoke cigarettes your health spoils every time somebody cigarettes smokes cigarette his health spoils Let us give a few more examples. For example, if you do not, this is a negative condition, if you do not brush your teeth, if you do not brush your teeth, you will get cavities. So that means everyone, every person, every time you do not brush your teeth, their happiness to get uh, cavities. So instead of writing you will get cavities, we will write simply you get cavities. Okay. One more example. If you 
if you heat butter if you heat butter it melts if you if you if you touch a live wire if you touch a live wire you get shocks means every time you touch a, an electric an electric live wire you get shocks uh, there may be a few more examples you can write there are hundreds of examples for example I'll add a few more here if you if you keep a wet shirt in the sun what happens it dries up okay if you do not eat food what happens you die if if we if we if we eat ice it melts if you or if we if we jump from a building if we jump from a building we fracture our bones so we can add a few more in fact innumerable examples so basically this conditional class zero condition these are general facts these are the situations in which we assume uh, um, you, we assume uh, an imagination that imagination is based on a, a general fact general truth so every time uh, you assume such a situation the result of it will get the same it will never change so this is uh, the last condition that's a zero condition so with this we conclude this conditional class Um, we will in the next video we will discuss what sort of questions um, will be asked in the examination about condition clause so till then goodbye